Okay. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Bro, shush. So this is probably like one of my favorite childhood games that they've now brought like a HD kind of, not remaster, but let's say upgrade for current times. I used to play this all the time as a kid with my brother. And man, I'm just just so excited to play it again. So let's go. New game. Okay, normal mode. What? Oh, what the hell? Okay, I don't remember they're having difficulties. No, 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 no. That's not nice. Okay, we'll just keep it normal. Okay, let's go. Uh, new game, save. Okay, cool, cool. Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. G'day, mate! It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Challenge Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... That's when you showed up. Right. Sounds like you've got a fair dinkum adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, 
You do the adventuring, and I'll help you out where I can. Awesome. So I don't think the, um... Welcome to Rainbow oh. Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're going to be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. Okay, cool. So I was going to say, I don't think the um, the cutscenes have got any sort of work done to them. Because they still kind of have like, a blurry effect on them. However, this has definitely changed. The lighting's completely different as well. I remember it being a lot more sort of brown tinted. Now everything's a bit more red. Oh yeah, it looks great. Even the movement feels better. It's like smooth. Okay. So this is how we get our missions, basically. Was it... Yeah, it's in here, right? No? Okay. G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness graces me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Hmm? Huh? Like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <laughs> <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here going to find all these thunder eggs? Eh, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. Okay, cool. Okay, so the first mission is here straight away. I'm just gonna check if there's, um, skins. What? What? Oh my god. Okay, well, we're gonna keep the classic. Uh, what's it gonna do? Yeah, see if there's any... No, okay. Okay, first mission. Uh, I think this is where we get our boomerang. This billabong has got the lot. Ah, oh, iconic. Come trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Man, even the soundtrack to this game was awesome. Oh yeah, orbs. Yeah, you have to collect like 300 of them for an egg. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. <laughs> right. Well, where is it? Uh, 
It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. Alright. Um... I am going to 100% this game. However, like, I'm not going to make you watch all that, so if I miss something at a level, I'll just go back and get it. Oh, shit. But, like, I'll get as much as I can during and just play through. Beauty! Butler! Bonza! I got one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> Can't remember how many levels are actually in this game. Need to keep an eye out now for these. I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. Okay, so they're just spawn points, basically, if you die. It's like Vita Chambers in, um, Bioshock. Thank you. Jeez, it feels so odd. Truth time! You've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? Choppers, bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty, move on. <laughs> Have a go at those crates. Okay. Yeah, it feels odd only having one boomerang. I was speaking to a bloke down the local watering hole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. You ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. Games just don't do that anymore, tell you what button it is and all that. The action button, the throw button. That's how you can tell this is an old game. It's from uh, 2002. And then it was remade in 2020. It came out in like November, I think. Oh no, not more cages. Struth! What happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh yeah? Well, big mistake! No one messes with my mates! Now there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. <laughs> nice. You mind? <gasps> you bitch! What you got? You young'uns, have it easy these days. If you want to get a better look at your surroundings, just wiggle your camera stick. And you can adjust the camera distance by pressing the camera distance button. In my day, we had to get off our backsides if we wanted to see the world. <laughs> right, cool. Right, so I think us, yeah, the free aim mode. Oh, I nearly forgot about that. That's mostly handy for finding, um, there's these, uh, invisible boxes hidden around the maps. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg! Ha <laughs> ha! Righto. Righto. So yeah, just gotta find 300 of these, get a free one. Very cool. Now, there was a cog back there, but I can't get that yet. I need both my rings. Okay. 
way. Let's just take out all these guys. Oh, he wasn't down. You stop. Oh, these weird camera things. When I was a lad, there was this kid, Toothy Malone, I think his name was there, who could bite his way through a dozen pies in less than a minute. These aren't pies, mate, but I reckon you could chomp the lot by pressing the bite button quickly. Try biting them quickly to reach that thunder egg. Man, when I was a kid, I thought these were like faces and these were sunglasses. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Easy. Now there is one of those um, cages somewhere up there. I think it's around the corner. Those bitches are really hard to bite. miss any, did I? Yes, I did. See, there's a little section behind there. There you go, around there. Oh, I found another one, okay. I'm gonna remember most of this game regardless because of how much I played it. Still. Always fun to go back to these games. How does that not break? Punch you there. I swear there's an ability later on where you can just... You're almost like a magnet to them. Jesus. I could be wrong. It could be like an ability that you pick up. Uh, if I remember, cogs are for new boomerangs, I think. There you go, buddy. Isn't there like, yeah, collection screen, here we go. So, once you complete it, there's also like races. You just have to get to the end, certain time. Easy stuff. Hmm, yes, but very yes. Fun. This just might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulaceous Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. Awesome. There's there's loads of boomerangs. I think there's like ten, maybe different types. Could be more. I can't remember. Ah, oh, finally bit one. Uh, I think they're actually making or bringing the second one into HD as well of how well this one sold, I think. I should actually like follow them on Twitter to find out. It's odd, I first heard about this game like being remade again on Facebook. <laughs> A Facebook ad. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I can't make this. Yeah, I can't make that. Need my second one. It's okay, it's up ahead here, I think. Oh, I also can't swim yet. That's another thing I've learned. Julius told me to tell you this, but I have no idea what it means. Apparently, according to Julius, you can lock your camera on to enemies at any time by pressing and holding the lock on button. Okay, I didn't know that. That's handy information. Ooh. Okay, I forgot. I don't even remember him being there. So that's where we have to go, so what's up here? 
Oh. Okay. Like this. I think to fill my health, it's like... A fine pie, I think it is. <gasps> oh, look at that. Yeah, I can't get that. It's a life, basically, down there. But I can't swim yet. I just do this, like, paddle. I'll show you. Like I'm drowning. <laughs> uh, it's a couple of levels up ahead. Okay. Oh, the lock-on thing's great. Very cool. Can I make that? I can make that. Awesome. How many of them are in a level 10? Okay. So, every two levels you can get a rank? Potentially. But you need like the right abilities and I think certain ranks as well. Fish. Uh huh. Okay, I nearly got all the opals. I won't be able to get them all, I don't think. Ah, oh, there it is, the magnet. So handy. There it is. It's just like the sword in the stone. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. Well, there's no time to sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're going to have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was going to give you, but a bunch of frills stole it. You'll have to take them all on to get it back. Cool. Let's go get our thunder egg. What a bitch. Hey. Nice. Okay, I think there was a cog here I can actually get. There we go. I don't know if I can make it behind that waterfall. Maybe I can jump. It. Yeah, I can. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I think I can go back now and use these to get into that other section. Dun, 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 dun. I can't wait to get into the, f the levels up ahead. Like the, um, the beach levels and the... I think it's a night level where um, I remember you talked to this like frog in pajamas or something, or is it a rogue? I don't know, something like that. Those are some of my favourite levels. Oh, and this one where you get to ride like this giant ball. <laughs> okay, we will. I'll oh, just get these ones. Can I make that? Yeah. Easy. I'm not sure if I can get everything just yet. I might be able to. Okay. I'll just get these. Can I? There we go. Okay. That just moves all them platforms. Ah, oh, I remember this. Fight me now. I think it's like a spirit thing or something. But as soon as you touch water, it's gone. Cut down the crocodile. This bitch. 
<laughs> Man, this game's so fun. That wasn't a half bad effort, Ty. Thank you. I reckon with a little more practice, you'll get there. Cool! Of course. I can hear and see that cage in here. Here we go. Oh, I got them all. You get all of them, you get Thunder Egg. Awesome. Uh, I think, yeah, there's... Oh, there's stuff here, look. Oh, I would so miss that. The most frustrating thing is getting to the end, and you have 299 orbs. That is a killer. I never noticed they only had one eye. <laughs> oh. No, come on, jump. Hey. Down there is just that tunnel that we saw. So I don't mind missing that. I know I can make this. Hey. Where are you, Croc? See, one eye. Or a lazy eye. Easy. Ah, no. Hey, okay, nice. Is that it? I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was it. Okay, cool. I think I've got everything so far, right? Or have I missed a cog? No, I don't think so. Oh, moment of truth, is this all of them? Oh, it is. It is. It is. Bandolin. Sick. Wow, it looks like today wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> You seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, you're too right. Ah, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. How? It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start There's some buttons again. <laughs> right. Is that safe? Safe as ours is, mate. See if you can glide across this gap to reach that thunder egg. I mean, we figured it out a long time ago, but yeah, sure. She ripper! Ah, look at that. Me mate's mate, mate, mate was telling the truth after all. <laughs> Just as well I didn't call for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colours. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. OK. What's that for? The racetrack. You can race the clock to win another thunder egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging from me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. Cool. And then if we just press... There we go. I definitely missed like a load of cogs, didn't I? Yeah, 8 out of 10. Oh, and... Oh, time attack, right, okay. Uh, that's, that's pretty good odds. I'll, I'll show you this now. It's basically these mushrooms. See these funny He'll looking mushrooms? It. A bloke down at the local water hole reckons that if you stand in the middle of them, something weird will happen. And weird it is. Teleportation. Any second. Right, so I'll just show you one of these. Welcome things. to the track. Race to the finish as fast as you can, mate. Nice. The checkpoints will lead the way. But miss one, and the race is over. <laughs> These can get very Good powered luck. up ahead, but I was a kid then. Oop, we're off. 
see if I still got this in me. Shouldn't be too hard. I know the music for this is pretty cool. Where? Oh, right, I thought I missed one. It wasn't very little. Oh, wow, is that it? Well, there you go. <laughs> It's the tutorial. That was a ripper of a race, Ty. You're faster than a long-legged emu with a case of the belly aches. <laughs> case of the belly aches. I reckon you've earned this. Oh, oh he just you had beauty. it. Kind of a dick move. Uh, where are my mushrooms? And now we can just leave on to the next level. Uh, through here. So, this is what we got. Missing two cogs, but that's completely fine. I can just get them. Along with those seven pitchers. Because they're, they're invisible boxes. Like, they're up in trees and everything. There's uh, a special rang you can get where you can see them better. I found it! I found it! Let me see that! Last, a mystic talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. You there, fetch my bags. <laughs> Soon, unimaginable power will be mine. Mine. 